The CVAC-3 is a versatile combination coolant flush machine. The CVAC-3 can be used to do a coolant flush on a vehicle's cooling system. In addition, the CVAC-3 can be used as a drain fill exchange machine by pulling a vacuum on a vehicle's cooling system and replacing the coolant in the system with that vacuum. We're going to start with a general overview of the CVAC-3 machine. As you can see, the CVAC-3 has a control panel with various selector switches and two-way switches on the front of the control panel. We have a green new fluid tank, a red new fluid tank, a set of stickers that gives the operating instructions on the machine. We have the red service hose used for filling, the black service hose used for removing, various instruction manuals, a bag of new adapters, red and black battery cables. If we look on the side of the machine, we can see where the hoses are connected to the machine along with our air input. Taking a closer look at the control panel, we can see that there's two selector knobs. The top selector knob is used during a remove and fill service. The top function is remove fluid, which can be used to vacuum the vehicle's cooling system down. The fill green, fill red functions can be used to refill the system after pulling a vacuum with whichever coolant color needs to be installed in the vehicle. On the bottom, you can pressure test the system. The bottom selector switch can be used during your flush to flush new green fluid or new red fluid into the vehicle's cooling system. The top function is for draining the waste tank and the bottom is off. Two rocker switches located on the bottom of the control panel. One controls the pump on or off. The other controls vacuum on, drain waste tank function activated or off. Also on the control panel is a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge can read pressure up to 60 PSI or vacuum to minus 30 inches of mercury. Also located on the front of the control panel are three LEDs. One signifies when the waste tank is full. The next signifies when your, one of your new fluid tanks is low. And the last one signifies when your waste tank drain is complete. We'll begin by connecting the battery cables to the vehicle's battery. We'll connect the black cable to the negative battery lead, and we'll connect the red cable to the positive battery lead. To perform a vacuum and fill service using the CVAC-3 machine, we'll begin by making sure our machine is hooked up to an air supply capable of at least 115 PSI. Next, we'll carefully remove the vehicle's radiator cap, being sure that the pressure is relieved. To perform a vacuum and fill service, you must be sure that the fluid level in the radiator or in the reservoir is high enough to touch the rubber cone adapter when the cone adapter is placed into the reservoir. We'll start by using the black service hose, connecting our rubber cone adapter, opening the valve, making sure our top lever is turned to remove fluid, then we'll turn the vacuum switch on.
we'll place the rubber cone adapter inside the reservoir. will pull a vacuum on the vehicle's cooling system. After all the coolant is finished running through the hose, the lever on the front of the machine can be turned to either fill green or fill red to replace the appropriate coolant. At the time you turn the switch to choose your coolant, you can also turn the vacuum switch off. At this point, you'll notice that the coolant is flowing back into the vehicle's cooling system using the vacuum that you pulled on the cooling system. Once the coolant is finished moving through the hose, the valve can be closed and the cone adapter removed from the reservoir. After the service, if the fluid level in the reservoir is too high, fluid can be removed by turning the top lever to remove fluid, inserting the wand adapter into the black service hose, opening the valve, placing the wand adapter into the reservoir and turning the vacuum switch on. Fluid will be removed from the reservoir until the vacuum switch is turned off. If the fluid level in the vehicle's reservoir is too low, we can add fluid to the reservoir by using the red service hose, inserting the wand adapter, opening the valve, placing the wand adapter inside the reservoir, selecting the coolant that we would like to refill, and turning the pump switch on. Once the fluid is at the correct level, the pump switch can be turned off and the wand adapter removed. The vehicle's radiator cap can then be replaced. When the service is complete, you can remove the battery cables and all miscellaneous rags and tools from the engine bay. To perform a coolant flush with the CVAC 3 machine, we'll begin by disconnecting the radiator hose on the vehicle. Once the radiator hose has been disconnected, insert the step adapter into the open end of the radiator hose and insert one of the supplied radiator hoses to the other open end. Once you have the two hoses connected and locked down, you're ready to start the flush. After connecting the hoses, we'll pinch off the overflow tube connected to the vehicle's reservoir using a pair of the included hose clamp pliers. Once we've pinched off the overflow tube, we can begin the flush service. We hook the red service hose to the hose that leads into the engine's block and the thermostat. We hook the black service hose to the hose that leads into the radiator. 
we open both valves. We then return to the machine, choose the fluid that we would like to flush, then turn the pump and the vacuum switches to the on position. When the fluid runs clean, the flush is complete and both switches can be turned back to the off position. When the service is complete, the valves can be closed and the service hose is removed from the hoses. After removing the service hoses, we can remove the step adapters and reconnect the car's radiator hoses. Once the vehicle's radiator hoses have been reconnected, the hose clamp pliers can be removed from the overflow tube. When the service is complete, you can remove the battery cables and all miscellaneous rags and tools from the engine bay.